pretty. Hey, hey, garden gals and guys, it's Steph with Tiny's Garden. And today I'm coming to you with what I believe will be my last bouquet of the 2023 cut flower garden season. If you're new here, I'm Steph. I am a home gardener in zone 5B in the Chicago suburbs. I'm happy to have you here. Now in the last video, I showed you some of what I have left, one of which is Chim Chimney Rudbeckia, and it's done stellar for me this year. I'm gonna cut what I have left. I've already cut four over there and used that in the bouquet. The other things I have are some zinnias still working for me and dahlias. So I've got these here yet and maybe one or two of the red variations. And this side over here is Sahara Rudbeckia, a little different than the Chim Chimney Rudbeckia. Check this one out with the burgundy inside, just a slight swatch. Oh, love it so much. Now I always have a little bit of a hard time when I'm deciding, when I'm calling it quote unquote quits, for the end of the season because really oh there's aphids on here icky uh i'm not bringing aphids in my house you're really pretty but bummer i ain't got time for aphid cleanup indoors as i was saying sometimes it's difficult for me to call a hard quit at the end of the season when i have so many things that'll keep blooming until the frost comes today is october 21st and we still haven't had our first frost so things still look fairly decent but because I'm feeling this year like I want to prep a little more for the tulip bulbs I have coming in that I'm going to grow for cut flowers in these raised beds I feel a little more prepared to say okay this is the final bouquet of the season if anything else blooms and I don't get to it I'm going to give myself grace and say that's okay because I tend to want to save every flower anybody else anybody else but because i have so many bulbs coming and that i'm doing things a little differently next year i'm planting more tulips for cutting i'm gonna have more work to do in planting those tulips this fall in these raised beds before the winter comes so it's kind of like a trade-off stopping maybe a tad bit early so that i can get a head start on getting all those planted and tucked away for the winter so stay tuned for my flower hat haul because i ordered a ton of stuff from them and I was really pleased with the varieties they were offering so I'm gonna do a big haul on that and that was gonna be a long video but today is gorgeous out and I thought you know what let's make today the day I do one more bouquet for the season cap it off anything else that comes is just a bonus and I'm okay with that so if you're new to my channel I am a home gardener hobby gardener cut flower gardener mainly, who loves to grow cut flowers from seed, nurture them all the way from planting the seed indoors and then transplanting it out and growing on from there to cut. I currently do not sell, although I did just have my first commissioned event that I did for a client of my actual business that I do for a part-time job. And she wanted to know if I had any flowers she could use for an event. and. I did and I arranged them and I cut them and did the whole shebang for her and it turned out beautiful. It was also such a blast. I'm so pleased. So maybe there'll be some selling in the future, but right now, mainly a hobby for sure. So when I'm talking about things, it's from that perspective because it's different if you're doing this, especially as a full-time job or a flower farmer, you're usually really worried about profit and that's how you kind of schedule out your workload, things like that. So I know some people who are flower farmers or do this for a business and they've already taken out dahlias and started storing them or starting to sell dahlia tubers. So it's a little different from what I do, but this is the schedule that I have right now. And uh, I'm really looking forward to in the next few weeks, even a month into November, of getting those tulips that I've ordered into these raised beds to grow for cut bouquets next spring because, oh man, do I love tulip season. Man, these guys got tall this year. Some of them are looking pretty tired. Some are so pristine. 
Daenerys Giant Salmon Rose. So what does it mean for me when I am at the end of the season? How do I prepare to kind of shut the season down and go into tulip planting season? It means that I will come through and I will tear all of these out. Last year I waited I think until spring and then just took the remnants of what was out here. But this year I think I'm just gonna tear everything out, let it rest for the winter, and then in the early spring, I'll come in with new fresh compost and get ready to transplant out my seeds that I've started indoors over the winter. But for dahlias, that means I'm digging up dahlias. I usually try and cut them individually before I store them so I don't have to worry about cutting them in the spring. Although some people do the opposite. So it's just whatever works for you. Some people keep them on a clump, store them, and then divide them in spring. Man, that sun is bright. I think we'll move, hold on a second. That means I'll come in with the tulip bulbs that I received for the landscape from Color Blends and plant those out in the landscape first because this raised bed soil is gonna be much easier to work with as the weather gets colder as opposed to the soil that is in my landscape beds out front. So I do a huge display in the front every year and absolutely love it when the springtime comes. So I'm keeping it simple and doing one variety this year up there, but it's going to be gorgeous. So definitely in the next few weeks, we will plan on doing those first, planting them, getting them in the ground and tucked away, and then I'll do my raised bed ones next just because the soil is so much easier to work with than these. Ah! There we go. It's gonna be tricky fitting some dahlias in there, but let's see what we can do. Riggsy's looking for red tomatoes. I don't know. I don't know if they'll be good at this point, buddy. See, it's got black all over it. That's probably not very yummy. I'll just help with you. Okay, honey. Now we're going to cut some pumpkin on a stick before we finish our bouquet over there because I forgot about these when we were decorating our front porch and they'll be great to pop in to some of the planters up there. The thing with these, I grew them from seed and they've been really fun to grow. Hey, no, no. I Right. Briggsy's right, is that they have thorns all over them. And the thorns are pokey and they hurt. So you've got to be careful when you're working with them. But let me bring you up close because they're so cool. If I pull these back, you can see these pumpkins on here and they're really, really cool. They go all the way up the stick. Let's cut this one all the way down here. One, two, three. Whoa! These off, those off. We're getting there. These are heavy! We're almost there, aren't we, buddy? Mm -hmm. There's a pumpkin on a stick! Look how cool those are! The orange ones are my favorite. How about you? Me too. Here we've reached the dahlia patch. And I am gonna savor these until they are done. Now this one just opened up and I did not know it was gonna be this dark. This is one that I planted July 9th and it's coming to a bloom. Oh man, that color is so moody. What is this? Painted black. Wow, she is pretty. Uh-oh, well, there goes my label. Now, of course, we have peaches and cream here. I'm definitely gonna cut these three. My, my, my. I see you, pretty girl. Oh, look at all of them cut together. So beautiful. These three peaches and cream are definitely stealing the show. But my gosh. I'm okay with it. I have to say, this might be a great one to end on. Gentle buddy. Do you love them? Do they look pretty? I like the flowers. Gorgeous, right? Oh my. What? This one is looking beautiful. Not a bad one at all to end on. 
I don't even know if I need any more dahlias in here, but I am gonna cut some more. Oh, I'm so happy with this. Now this is really interesting because this is the Tempest Dahlia, which I was raving about a week or so ago, but it's a totally different color now, probably because of the colder weather. But I'll show you on the screen what this looked like maybe a week or two ago. And then this is Tempest. So you can see there is more of a coral and now it's much more orange. It's like a different dahlia. So that's very interesting. I much prefer the brighter red version without a doubt. Nevertheless, still pretty in a fall bouquet. I really like that Tempest dahlia there because it breaks up the peaches and cream a little bit. Hey, hey mom. Okay, show me what you have Briggs. Really? I got, I got some left out here and put out by there. Oh, you've been raking up some dirt with your rake over there and yeah. putting it here? Yeah, because it's not very good dirt because I don't like the grass. You don't like the grass? Are you planning on taking all the grass out? Yeah, because I don't like the bad grass. You don't? Yeah. You want to put flowers there instead? Yeah. Okay, I like the idea. Okay, I think I rounded everything out by cutting these and I wanted to make sure I told you I was able to get one more cafe au lait and she's beautiful as ever. These a la mode are actually picked late for sure because you can see the open face here with the yellow but I like that. It looks really pretty for fall. They won't last long but it'll be pretty for a, a couple days. Same with the Cornell down here. It's got the yellow opening because it was on the branch for so long so it's past due for sure hey, but mom. it'll be mom? pretty okay briggs wants to show everybody his dirt you can show him now honey you like my dirt i i got these outdoor dirt i threw it in the pile he's getting a lot of dirt and putting it in the pile everybody good hard work son i love it Okay, these should definitely round this bouquet out and we'll be at the end. So I'm gonna put these in here, arrange them, and then I'll come back and we will probably have to finish this inside because it's dark again. Oh my gosh, look at this. No, it's not dark. I love it so, so much. Oh no. What? I broke it. Shield! Okay, can I have... Oh, no, 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 no. Pick him up, please. Thank you, bub. I tell myself these are the days with my boy and my pup and my flowers. <gasps> and I try to always remember that. Classic overstuffer, as per usual. And as per usual, I'm fine with it. Oh, Briggsy, this is one of my favorites of the whole season. You too, Axe? I love that my boys love my flowers too. I like your flowers. Kiss. Oh, I love you so much. And voila. Oh my goodness sakes. I am so pleased with this. This might be one of my favorite of the season. This is just sensational. I could not be happier. I really thought this was just gonna be a little kind of, I don't know that frumpy's the world word, but a little bouquet that I make at the end of the season with what I had left. And it seems like we always have more flowers that are beautiful than we think we do because look at this. It's just oozing of different colors, especially fall colors, ironically. Not planned, but it is. And I love the melted golden vase, which I got at Anthropology a while ago. I like the texture that the Chim Chimney Rudbeckia brings. And it's just flowers from top to bottom everywhere you look. Oh, I'm so happy I did this. I almost didn't do this today. Oh. I love it, love it. We enjoyed that. I hope you did too. Comment below and let me know what you think of the last bouquet of the season. So that'll be it for this video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that. And man, like I said, I'm very pleasantly surprised with this. I love it, I love it. Right now I'm a mama magnet, it seems. So we're gonna roll with it, everybody, because this is real life. Do you like my bouquet? Yeah.
Thank you. So please comment below and let me know what you're harvesting, if anything, or if you have already shut down your garden for the season. If you're starting to plant tulips for cut flowers or for show, fill me in in the comments below. We're gonna go put these beauties inside on our kitchen table and enjoy them because it is, it's the last one for me here, guys. This year, not forever. Let's make that clear. Oh, but I'm thrilled. She's such a good one to go out on, isn't she? Remember to like this video if you found it enjoyable. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel to follow along with all things garden. We'll see you in the next one, everybody. Happy planting. Bye. Can you say bye? Bye. Bye. I just think you're spectacular. These are the moments I just am so grateful and love all the little miracles God has in store for us. And I'm so grateful for a season. And to end on it like this is just chef's kiss. I love it, I love it, I love it. You've been so patient. Okay, really cut, cut, cut. We're ending this. Bye. Bye. <laughs>